afuna ukuthi bana namanthule ngaxa nje tu ndivala umlomo South Africa's infamous reality of having the highest rape statistics in the world leave many of its citizens feeling afraid and helpless, especially when a large portion of those being raped are young boys and girls under the age of 18. This documentary, titled The Lost Girls of South Africa, takes the viewer on a visual expedition of five girls that were victims of sexual assault and the difficulties they experience in trying to get restitution for the acts committed against them. The documentary covers a wide range of scenarios, from sexual assault within the home to young girls being raped by other minors. I was raped two times by a man that was staying in the house. The second time he didn't come in the home, I was going to the shop, then he catched me there. While police services in South Africa as state actors should be entrusted with protecting all citizens, it is often the case that victims of sexual assault feel neglected or even worse, shamed for what happened to them. This is why so many citizens choose not to report their assault. Of the cases that do make it to court, only 1% end in prosecution. This low prosecution rate is a result of a failing system that cannot be blamed on one party. With understaffed social work agencies and overworked police officers, the time it takes to close a case can be stretched out by months, lessening the chances of conviction. The first day, but not so this young girl, Ndombi Zanele, explains her experience. A startling amount of accused rapists are minors themselves and end up being placed back in the custody of their parents, which often allows them free reign to victimize their accusers, and this victimization may come from the community at large. That the cry for help is there, but it takes so long for help to come. I do that. Tola, tola. I did. 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 Approximately 200,000 girls under the age of 18 are raped a year. For the young boys and girls of South Africa, it is a reality almost too harsh to face. A Medical Research Council survey in 2009 found that in South Africa, one in four men say they have raped at least once, with half of those admitting to multiple attacks. The reasons given by men that rape range from traditional superstitions to drug abuse. Another contributing factor to the high volumes of rape in South Africa is poor sexual education. In some circles, it is believed that a virgin can cure a person from HIV and AIDS. It remains troubling that the public cannot trust the police, the court and the laws of the country to receive effective retribution for crimes committed against them. A national system that does not protect victims, investigate accusations, and punish for wrongdoing will allow and perhaps even endorse rape culture. I feel like I'm not a person. I feel like I'm a, like a dog or cat, but I am a person. And I want to be strong like a, a woman.